Howdy y'all, it's Greg C. in Tennessee once again, and I know it's been a while since my last video, but I have yet another wonderful Temu haul for you today. Uh, but before we get started, I need to give you my typical disclaimer. Temu does not pay me for these demos. I am not an influencer yet, so nothing is sent to me for free. I pay for everything, and I give you my honest opinions. If I find out something doesn't work as advertised, I'll always let you know. I do, however, have an affiliate link below in the description. If you see something you like, please use my link and code so I get a little bit of credit for sharing these reviews. It's the only compensation I get. I would really appreciate it. I do read all of the comments that you have uh, that you leave, and I respond to almost all of them. There are always exceptions. Well, uh, let's get started. Okay, let's dig right into the uh, most recent order. And the first thing we've got is uh, we've got these cute little plastic dumpling makers. Um, they're for making dumplings and empanadas. Uh, it's a little mold. You just make uh, make your dough or whatever it is, and you place it in there, and then you fold it up like that, and it crimps it. So that you don't have to do it yourself by hand. Uh, these are supposed to make it easier to uh, make a bunch of these. Looks like it also actually trims them. As you can see, once you close it, it actually trims. So everything's going to be pretty uniform. Uh, from what I've seen, you put the dough in here. Uh, you put your filling in there and then simply just close it up. And uh, pop out your... Dumpling or empanada. Kind of cool. Uh, as usual, price is over here. 98 cents a piece. Not bad at all. Uh, we got three of those with this order. So I guess we're going to be make, making some empanadas. All right. The next thing we've got is... Um, I eat a lot of avocados. I don't know about anybody else. But uh, I like avocados. I also like to make guacamole, which... Fresh guac. There's nothing like fresh guac. So we've got this avocado keeper, which uh, it looks like you put your avocado with the pit right in there, just face down, and close this up. And in theory, this is supposed to keep your avocado from getting brown if you only eat half of it at a time. Um. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but who knows? I've seen um, a couple of things online on ways to keep your avocados fresh if you don't use the full thing in one shot. But uh, this is a neat little thing. We're going to try this out, see how this works. And for $4.49, uh, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to check that out. I'll have to report back after we uh, don't have any avocados at the moment. So... I guess that's going to be hard to, uh... oh, maybe I do have avocados. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> something for, something for my grandson. <laughs> this is kind of cute. Um, <laughs> the little wall plaque, it says little man clay, a little man cave. You can either put this on the wall or put this on, uh, put this on the door. It even, even comes with the string so that, uh, you just put the string through the uh, holes there and put a little knot on the end of it and uh, just hang it up, hanged it up on the wall. It's got dinosaurs on there. Uh, my daughter likes the dinosaurs and by extension, my grandson likes the dinosaurs. So <laughs> this would be a fun little gift for him, for the little man. And there you go, 239. Such a deal. Let's see what else we got in the bag of tricks. All right, so this is a rather large, this is a uh, brush for cleaning out your dryer vent. Um, anybody who has their own dryer at home, which I'm, I'm sure most of you do, uh, you know that the lint just builds up right in the, uh, in the area where the uh, lint filter is. For some reason, the lint filter doesn't catch it all. It ends up down below the lint filter. So this is meant to help clean that out and prevent fires in your house or your dryer. Um, 
it comes bent like this, but it's actually supposed to be straight. So you can straighten that out. It's pretty easy. I mean, it's just wire. So um, you can get that down. It looks like it go pretty deep. I mean, it's a good 16, 18 inches, thereabouts. So uh, it's a nice little tool for, for less than a little over a buck. I mean, it's it's save your house from a fire. That's that's a good thing. It's definitely worth uh, more than the price of admission on that one. All right, so we've also got, this is, painting. what is this? It's, it's a diamond art. This looks like diamond art. I'm pretty sure it's diamond art. Oh, oh, okay, so this is it. Okay, yeah, I was looking right at it. <laughs> I've got my, uh, I've got the uh, iPad just below here with the items open up, op opened up so I can see what it is. I didn't realize this. It's actually, it looks like a stained glass. Uh, it's kind of cute. Um, should be kind of interesting once it's done. Uh, and as usual, it comes with all the, uh, all the little diamonds and the sorting tool and the pickup tool and all that good stuff. So there's all your different, different diamonds for completing the project. And, it's kind of neat. I guess you could put that in a uh, you put that in a clear frame once it's done. Be like almost like a uh... yeah. Um, anyway, so a little piece of diamond art, very reasonably priced. And all right, so this is. <laughs> This is a fun little thing. Isn't this cute? This is a handmade crocheted pickle. <laughs> Everybody needs a handmade crocheted pickle. Uh, what does it say on here? Emotional support pickle. I will always be around to let you know that you are a big deal. <laughs> there you go. So give this to the big deal in your family <laughs> or in your life. They can have their own emotional support pickle. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure that's a gag gift for somebody I know. <laughs> and it, it's funny enough, it, it's worth more than this price. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Well, they're empanada maker. Let's see, what's this? Multi-function clean. Oh, okay. So this is this is a, a it's like an ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, let's see where this is on my list here. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. So this is supposed to be for doing your glasses and small jewelry. Uh, it's battery operated. I'm guessing it's triple A's. Yeah. Triple A batteries. Obviously, it doesn't come with the batteries. Uh, it's got some nice little suction cups on the bottom. And, uh... You just add some fluid in there, a little bit of uh, cleaner. Uh, it's got the lid so that things don't boil out while it's cooking. It's got the little rocker on-off switch on the bottom here. So I'm definitely going to have to try this out and see how it works because this, this is interesting. I have a large ultrasonic cleaner that uh, I haven't used in a while because really haven't had the need for anything quite that big. But this would be handy. Uh, be curious to see how it works on glasses and things like maybe my watch bands. Okay, so we've been running about five minutes. Uh, doesn't have an automatic shut off, so you have to manually shut it off. Let's uh, pull that off. Let's see. Oh yeah! Holy smokes! Wow. Let me get the uh, get close up. Look at all this garbage that is in the bottom of the tank now. That was clean, and uh, it's pretty much vibrated all the junk out of the watch band. It's now settled into the bottom of the uh, tray here. You can see. 
it's uh, so it does actually does actually work. So for less than five bucks, uh, that's a pretty decent little investment. Uh, I'm gonna try with a couple other things, but they, my watch band is clean, so that's a plus. <laughs> so here, there you have it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, here's some of the junk that came off of the watch band. So it's a uh, look at that. Just coming right off. <laughs> it definitely, uh, definitely works. And uh, I've spent uh, a lot more previously on ultrasonic cleaners. And look at that, I just got all that junk off of there. That's a good investment. I definitely, definitely uh, recommend this. Definitely worth, worth the price of admission. Give that a big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, there you go, ultrasonic cleaner. I don't know what this is. Doesn't say what it is. I hate when I get stuff I'm not sure what it is. I think I know what this is. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So this is uh, a mobile screen cleaner. So it comes in a handy little looks looks like lipstick. I have to tell you the truth, but uh, you just there's a hole in the bottom, so you can just push it out. Like so, and this is like a, it's sort of like a microfiber, I guess. And then there's a spray bottle, so you put your cleaning fluid in here. Uh, I would suggest if you're using this on a um, iPad or uh, iPhone or Samsung or whatever, uh, make sure you don't use a harsh cleaner because that will damage your screen. But it's handy once you fill it up, you just... Press on this, and there's a hole there for your fluid to come out. So that would be pretty nice. I'm guessing this is a... I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work, but uh, I don't know. It's... So you spray it here, and then wipe it with this. Eh. We'll try it out. We'll see. And uh, that was only another well, just over a buck. Cool beans. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, my middle daughter and her husband are turning 30 this year. So we got them some fun little three ply toilet paper. And here it is. <laughs> it's not a real big roll. It's a novelty roll, obviously. But uh, there you go. That, that's their gag gift for their birthday. <laughs> so well, I don't know if she watches my videos or not, but if she does, she's going to see what she's getting for her birthday. <laughs> and then there's the price. <laughs> so if you got somebody turned out 30, there you go. It's, it's a, some fun little novelty to get them. Okay, moving right along. All right, so... Whether you've been following my channel for a while or not, uh, my family has always been big in Disney. And some members of the family are really big on poo. And we're not talking the brown stinky type. We're talking the little honey bear. We need to poo. So we've got a little honey bear. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Oh, backwards, sorry. <laughs> So we need we need the poo, and uh, it's a nice little keychain. It's got the uh, quick release, so you can hook this onto you know a ring on your purse, I guess, on the inside or outside. I would suggest the inside, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, it's got split rings, so you can put your keys on there. Uh, this is a kind of rubbery fabric, or, or rubbery fabric. It's kind of uh, like a silicone, it's a little stretchy. Uh, obviously, it says Winnie on there. Uh, it's got a gold tone to it. Uh, it's got a little swivel here, so it swivels around. And you got poo with this honey. He just needs a little smack roll of honey, and there you go, little smack roll of honey. And there you go, less than five bucks. Oops, a little far. There we go. So, there's that. All right. So, moving right along. 
stainless matte hollow out hairpin. Okay, so this is a hairpin. I would demonstrate it, but I just got a haircut, so it's it's not going to work on me. Um, you know, it's just ladies, you know what these are for. Uh, just gather your hair behind and put that little clip on there. Very fashionable. I'm sure it would look very nice. Uh, it's yeah, it's a cheap plastic, so you know you get what you pay for. It's less than a buck. Uh, you can't find you could probably find these at a, well if you went to a dollar store, it'd be more expensive than this. So um, it looks like it'd be sturdy enough, uh, even if you have a lot of hair. So there you go. Hair clip, stylish matte hollow out hairpin. Okay, that's what they call that. That's the official name. All right, moving right along. Uh, and this is... <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. All right. Very nice. All right, so um, on a couple of orders, uh, we've gotten these uh, trash bag holders. Uh, they were plastic. This one, this is a very sturdy metal. Uh, one of the other holders I have is plastic. Actually, both of the other two are plastic. One of them is a similar design to this, um, but being plastic. Well, let me show you uh, what happens when you put too much trash in. So here's what happens. As you can see, this one, I've got a, we've got a little bit of garbage in there. and I mean, it's not overly heavy, but this plastic is very thin. And very light so we're going to replace this one uh this one was not real expensive so i mean it's not a big loss but as you can see it's sitting on quite an angle so the new one being metal we will not have this problem it's not that we shouldn't have this problem. we will not have this problem with the new one um one of the other ones i have is this one over here this one actually works really well this has got a little insert in it which holds the bag real sturdy and uh, keeps you from getting stuff on the outside for the most part that doesn't really fall through. So this one is held up really well. And this one, not so much. So the new one is all metal. Um, you can see it's pretty sturdy. And uh, this one is not going to bend and bow like the others, the others did. So. There you go. And uh, the price on this was not outrageous, obviously. Uh, let me get that back up. Oh, less than five bucks. So, yeah, less than five bucks. I like it sturdy and it matches our cabinet, so it'll blend in better, too. So, there you go. Here's the actual price. Uh, I believe, yep. Oh, wait, nope. I got a couple more things in there. All right, next thing I got is uh this is a uh one piece 2d dinosaur what's the one piece 2d dinosaur 26 english letter i don't know it, <laughs> i don't know exactly what it it's the letter d for my my uh, grandson his name starts with a d so we got him a dinosaur D, and it's got a little string, so it's like an ornament, and you can hang it up. Uh, put that right through there, like so. Hang that up in window. Use it for Christmas decoration, uh, whatever. So cute little thing, a little made out of uh, acrylic. It looks like or uh, uh, plexiglass or Lexan. I'm not really sure. I'm, I think it's like a plexiglass. It's pretty sturdy plastic. So, but uh, it's a letter D for D for dinosaur. There you go. And yeah, around a buck and a half. Not terrible. Always getting stuff for the grandkid. Grandkids, especially, you know, they get it. They get all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, the last thing I got, I believe, 
Oh yeah, these are uh, some more diamond art labels. Uh, I know I've gotten these in a previous order. Uh, this is just more of the diamond art labels. These are for labeling your diamond art storage uh, containers. So you can put the uh, number or corresponding letters, or whatever, to the diamond art that uh, you're working on. And, um, uh, -oh. uh, you just label this and then you put it on the, uh, container with the, uh, associated diamonds in it. That way, you know, which ones go where and you don't have as much chance of losing them because you, usually the containers we have are uh, look, little small containers. They have a snap on lid, which is pretty secure. But each diamond art package has different letters and numbers and associated with um, the art project. So this is a pretty good size pack, uh, quite a number of labels. So you can do quite a number of uh, diamond art products or diamond art projects with the, with all these labels. And that'll last you a little while. 500, 500 pieces right there. 500 piece. Uh, so that's it for this episode. Um, I've got another order in place. It's going to be coming in the next two to three weeks. Um, it's going to be an interesting order because it's less than 20 bucks. And I'm going to get to show you some of the stuff I bought. Uh, got nine items for less than 20 bucks. Um, one of them was actually while i was ordering it it got reduced down to one penny and uh i was pretty excited about that because uh it's something that uh, you, you can't find for a penny in, in most places actually there's not many things you can find for a penny you can't even get a gumball for a penny nowadays so uh let's be real um it was a great bonus uh like i said i'm still not an influencer yet i haven't really applied to be one uh, I like it more. Well, I wouldn't mind being an influencer because, you know, hey, uh, free stuff is always cool. <laughs> but I'm also going to be doing a, a review of some of the stuff that I've gotten over the past couple of years. Uh, just like a long term test review to show you guys what stuff is, you know, we've found that we're worth keeping and, and still work and, uh, or worth the investment and you know some of the stuff like that uh, that uh, garbage bag holder that uh, after a while they just don't hold up and really aren't worth the money so um, that's where we're going to be in the next few months uh, I'm gonna try and post a little more than I have uh, so far this year I know it's been a little little uh, light on the posting so uh, I appreciate uh, all of you who keep watching and uh, keep commenting. And uh, I, anybody, if I haven't replied to you yet, I will reply to you soon. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around. You know, check out the uh, information and the link, and uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe as usual. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.